Recently we had a decision that in effect stopped the police officer from interrogating anyone after they became a suspect in a case. In effect, what they did is simply build a wall around that no one could could reach through to talk to this man. And I heard it uh, expressed that this is sort of like asking a doctor to perform a tonsillectomy and then telling him, telling him that he has to make his entrance from the rear. You cannot go take the direct approach to do what's needed to be done. I think you don't have to be a policeman, you don't have to be real intelligent to see right off that this throws a brand new slant on the police field. We need to talk to the person about the case, whether it be to prove his innocence or whether it be to help establish his guilt. It's no longer a question of whether uh, a man is innocent or guilty when you come to court. It's a question of how many mistakes the police department made. Where did you slip up? This is, this I think, most attorneys will tell you is, is, is the most important thing to have it thrown out. It's what I'm trying to bring to you today, that this is, is no longer a game just for the police department. It's no longer a problem of just your police department's overland. This is a problem for each and every one of you.